Hi, my name is Alan Dutre, and I should like to welcome you to a short video I've put together with my colleague Philippe Biton, showing how Proteva can add client security to Microsoft's UAG and direct access VPN solutions for secure remote access. Before we go any further, let's remind ourselves how UAG and direct access complement each other. Direct access is a new feature of Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008. It has the same purpose as a VPN, i.e. it allows users to connect securely to the corporate network through the internet, but the main difference is that the connection is established in the background without requiring user interaction. However, of course, not all clients are Windows 7 and not all web servers support IPv6, which is a requirement of direct access. So in 2010, Microsoft introduced Forefront Unified Access Gateway, UAG, which includes direct access and also some additional components that make it easier to integrate without the need to deploy IPv6 on the network. So for non-Windows 7 clients and for web application servers that do not support IPv6, UAG is the answer. So let's turn now to our demonstration scenario. In our scenario we have a user, corporate user with a PC, and a strong authentication token or tokens. And our user connects through to the corporate network via an SSL VPN application and firewall, which is Microsoft's UAG. There is a Microsoft Domain Controller, which is a server that handles authentication requests. There's a web application server, and there is Jamalto's SA server, which talks to the network via a RADIUS server. So our user starts off by authenticating to SA server via UAG. They enter their one-time password. And if the authentication is successful with SA server, then they can see the list of applications that they can access. They then click on Outlook Web Access on their PC, and UAG asks for an authorization ticket from the domain controller. This process going on in the background, of course no user interaction. So we can see this ticket called TGT going from the domain controller to UAG. UAG then sends this same ticket to Outlook Web Access. And if the ticket is accepted then the user can access their application in this case Outlook Web Access. So the technology used by Forefront uh, UAG to accomplish this single sign-on functionality is Kerberos Constrained Delegation, or KCD. For this demonstration, we only need to know that IAG and Outlook Web Access need to be configured to use KCD with SA Server. So in our first demonstration, we see a user authenticating to their UAG VPN using a one-time password which is generated by their Protiva token. So they type their, the one-time password, click on Submit, and they're authenticated. They then see the list of applications which they can access. In this case, there's only one, which is Outlook Web Access. And they're able to access it directly without authenticating again. Now the user logs off from Outlook Web Access. And now we're going to see the administrative UAG as they configure UAG to use the KCD protocol with SA Server. So the administrator enters their password. Then they have to carry out various uh, configuration steps uh, within the UAG uh, portal, administrator portal. One of the key configuration steps is represented by the, the big uh, red arrow, which you will see in a second. There we are. So 
so quite a lot of uh, configuration work to be done. But once that is uh, complete, the next step is to get Outlook Web Access also configured to work with uh, KCD. So here you'll see there's a box called Use uh, Kerberos Constraint Delegation, which needs to be checked. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for other Gemalto Protiva videos coming your way. For more information, please go to gemalto.com slash enterprise. Bye-bye.